Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor. We're going to talk today about ways to help increase the visibility and the draw to your items and to your store. Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor. Today I want to talk a little bit about item specifics and what's changed in the last month or so with them. Now, I know we all know when the item specifics were lost by eBay for a lot of the clothing, like your sizes and such forth like that. And after all of these issues and these changes, I have started to get some too in collectibles and comics and stamps and the whole works that are requiring these inputs by us into them. Now, that helps set up their catalog, of course. Now, I've had a bunch of conversations with quite a few people about item specifics uh, through the clothing issues and stuff. So I've been looking into all of this quite extensively to see if there was any way to boost anything with this. Um, let's hop over to the screen right now, and I'm going to show you a little bit about item specifics and things that you can do that will help draw and add more keys to your items. So here we are in my hub. This is the seller hub for my store that I share with you. And what you'll see down here, and most people should have seen this already, is item specifics. And this says I have required 674 listings that require me to have item specifics. Now, I had more than twice that two or three weeks ago, but I did half of them to see what the difference is. And then I let the other half stay here without changing the requirements to them, just to see what would happen. And overall, without a doubt, the ones that I fixed the item specifics had more sales to them. Now, I'm obviously sure by how they state that this is working now that that will be the case because they won't know where to technically categorize these, even though it was never an issue before. The whole structure of eBay, the database of eBay has changed. So I'm going about things differently. As I said, I've changed things up and we've been testing stuff left and right to see what will or won't help us. I've since now fixed these, so I'm going to reload this page right now, and you're going to see those all disappear. I was able to fix 674 of those in about 15 minutes or 20 minutes or so, because you can do them in bulk as well. Now, I've been moving things around and adding details and item specifics to a ton of my listings to see what ground I can get with that, and it does seem to help. Let's pick a category, and I'm going to show you what I've been doing with some of my items here. We will pick holiday collectibles here. We're going to search, and we're going to bring those up here. So let's pick a few. I'm going to pick some decorations, and we're going to add some item specifics to this. What the item specifics can do is add more searchability to some of your listings. So if there's some words or some search criteria that doesn't show up, this is what I have been doing is adding extra words into specifics, into item specifics of different items all over the place. As many as I can get in on every single item that I'm able to do this on. Now, I've took the time. I've checked it out. As I said, I didn't fix some and some I did and there was a noticeable difference. Let's do this. We're going to open these up here. And again, this works for 500 listings at a time. You can edit in the same way. Now let's say these are like an entertainment category or something like that, and you're listing some items and you've got hundreds of the same style of items. You can change the word original, make sure that they're marked all original all at once without doing anything individually with them. Now everything you wanna do on eBay can be done from this edit page here, 500 items at a time. So as long as in the same category, you won't have any issue with them. Now, if I wanted to do these in bulk, I can edit listings in bulk and it'll break them down by category that you have them in. So we're going to look at this here. We're going to um, add item specifics specifically to this. And we're going to put in here Christmas decorations. So now when somebody searches for Christmas decorations, they're going to see this on it. So it's going to add that into the item specifics. And we can add another one. We can put Victorian Christmas and save that one as well. So now when somebody searches for Christmas decorations, Victorian Christmas, this item is tagged as an item specific to match that so it will show up in a search. Now you can go back and search and do the same tests on your own items and, sh and see how this works on your own. But this works very well to add that stuff into these. And again, you can edit 500 at a time if you would like to and it will fix all 500. 
we're just going to submit these and go back to the hub again. Now we're back in the hub here. Now I've went in and edited thousands of listings and added all kinds of item specific titles and names to as many listings as I had that option to add to. In some cases I added several at the same listing. So you can edit 500 at a time. Yes, it still took me a little while to do that, but I do see a payoff in the last, say, three or four weeks since I've been doing this. But if you add specific item information to many of your listings, it will help boost that chance. Now, adding the item specifics will help you show up better in search results. It'll give more relevant information because those words that I just added to those items are now tied to that listing. So if somebody types in Christmas decoration, even if I don't have it in that same category, there's a good chance that this will pop up towards the top of it, depending on watchers and all kinds of other facts on it. Now, in the past, I never worried too much about item specifics just because it was a time waster and most people found items by keywords. But now with how eBay has the item specifics tied very specifically to search results, you have to put them in, it seems. I don't see any other way around it. Let's clear off the category here and go to the main page for this with all of my items. Just so we can show you again what you're going to be looking for. If you have any that say required item specifics, you need to make sure to have them filled out. Now, they'll show up down here. Item specifics recommended you don't have to do, but in all honesty, even if it says recommended, I would go in and address every single one of those. Now, let's say you have a couple hundred items that are in the same category, same everything. You might think about any other item specifics you could add to those listings that will, one, help your items refresh, and two, add more options for them to show up in search results. You want the most options you can get for your items to show up in search results these days, it seems. Uh, again, I have tested this. I've played around with this. This does seem to help. So again, I've added item specifics to as many items as I can get any descriptive word that I think that would qualify for those items I have done it. Such as in the postcard field, I've added vintage postcard as a item specific, my own item specific, and I've added it to all kinds of listings that don't have that in the title. So that way other items will show up. Now I've talked to quite a few viewers in the last three or four weeks since all of these changes started to take place. So if you're not finding items or your items specifically through certain keyword searches, you can add that type of information into item specifics just for those items of yours that you're having issues with. And that should alleviate the problem straight on out where everything will show up the way it should show up. So as many words as you can add in there are key these days. And again, in the past, I'd never worried about that, but things change. I change with it as everybody else does. So this is my change. I'm adding item specifics every single place and as many as I can get to every Every single item I can add them to. That's my take on it. It's up to you what you do with that information, but I've tested it, I've looked into it, and it does seem to help and address many of the issues with items not showing up higher ranking or being in specific search results. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend. Thank <laughs> you.